Greetings everyone, this is Spin Dash here, and today I'm playing Honkai Impact 3rd. It's been a while since I really played this game, and I've been solely but actively trying to keep an active pace with this video game, which is a... I like this game a lot, but it's been forever since I've really done a video like this, a Gotcha Pulls video. Part 2 has been out, has, part 2 has been released, and it's been three weeks since the updates as of this recording, and we're going to attempt to go for the new at Lightning Damage S rank, Senadina, and her gear, alongside Helia's gear. So, but before we get started, an overview of things is that if you haven't done the login event already, you get to have, here it is, you get, if you do the login event, you get two Stigmata boxes, one for Senadina's gear, Perfect Morning set, and the other for Helia's set, the Genius Pioneer set. Of course, Coralie, her Stigmata set is is for free if you haven't done the login event from either the previous or current update. So that's completely free, they're maxed out, you don't have to waste any, well, you don't have to spend any mats on it. And of course, you can get Coralie from basically doing the event, which I've already completed. Well, I've already got, I didn't just complete it, but I did get Coralie and her weapon for free. So, if you're currently playing the game, be sure to do this to get your Coralie and your her hammer, and of course the Stigmatas. As for my savings, I have currently have 21,000 crystals saved up. This is for free to play, and the only spinning I've done is on the Battle Pass, the advanced, the Paladin BP, which of course advances the Battle Pass up to... 20 levels. I was already at level 20 when, by the time I purchased this. And of course, if I go to the top up, I have the monthly card that I have, which is all, all I purchased. I spent money on this game in the past, but since it's the anniversary, of course, the bonuses have reset it. I Previously, I had the $50 pack spent, but it's reset. Now the bonus is here. I haven't spent anything yet with my money. I don't plan on to, since it's going to be a free-to-play, well, I would say a shrimp pools video, since I spent some money. This is budget spending, a total of $25 so far on this update, that being the bonus card and the BP upgrade. So, without further delay, let's just go to our pools. Now, to do some calculations, we got our 10 free supply cards for one of the login events. And for the equipment, I got 13 supply cards. And we're going to have a spinning event, so we might as well go ahead and get it. That's going to be like 2,800. That's enough, enough. That's a free pull already. Of course, I got 10 drops guaranteed for Senadina, which is a testament to how bad my RNG has been for the past several updates. I tried to go for Fuha. I tried to go for uh, Mistown. I tried to go for Hersher Finality, if I remember correctly, but I just got nothing burger or pulls on my... when I did have savings for it. But... I will get you Senadina, that's for sure. So let's go ahead and start pulling. Might get some four stars. Might get Coralie and Heliofrags. Okay. Alright, there's Senadina. Got the guarantee. All right, we got her. Now we gotta get to the tough part, and that is the equipment. 60 drops to guarantee till we get the weapon. We can get the... Of course, I get the achievement. We can also get the Stigmatis from here, but they're farmable from the Foundry. So, it's completely free to play getting these, but it would be nice if we get the Stigmatis in between getting the weapon. So, what we got of 13 supply cards, 21 crate crystals to boot, this should be enough to get us the weapon. So let's go ahead and start pulling on the gear. And maybe we'll have some leftovers for Helios gear. gear. Okay, we got one of the Stigmatas. That's good. I could, I'll take that. I'll take that. Lock it. Lock it. So far, so good. 50 drops. Let's continue. Can we get the weapon early? Of 
Oh, I skipped it. What I get, what I get. Okay. Stigmata, that's good. I should also mention I also have the Stigmata box. Wait, I already mentioned that. Sorry. But anyway, can we get the weapon on pool number three? All right, duplicate. Okay, so far we've just been getting duplicates. Mainly we're aiming for the weapon, but the stigmatas are nice too. 30 drops still guaranteed. Halfway there. Okay, so we got all the stigmatas. Can we get the weapon? Or we're gonna have to hit the guarantee. Okay, so that's a full stigmata set right there. 20 drops remaining, come on. I want that yo-yo, another dupe. Okay, we got it. We, we save ourselves a free 10 pull here. We got the yo-yo early before it hit the 10 drop guarantee. We didn't hit the hard pity. Or the guarantee, I should say. We got the yo-yo. So we have a, a full geared Senadina already. So let's head on over to the B supply and get Helia gear. I might as well use the single cards real quick. I mean, it's going to be nothing to it. But we'll see what I can get. Oh my god. The first single pull on this banner. Well, I, mean, I already got the stigma. Sounds like my RNG is coming back to me after so long, after my after a huge absence since the last gotcha video. That being my Tower Fantasy Link Hang video. I mean, I've done polls videos for Genshin, Tower Fantasy, Star Rail, freaking Snowbreak Containment Zone. I don't even play Genshin and Snowbreak anymore. But about time I get started here. Okay, that's pretty good, getting the stigmata early. Now can we get the weapon? Come on, crossbow. Another stigmata, I'll take it. Less time in the foundry, or universal mirage I should say. Go ahead and lock that. Alright. 44 pulls remaining. Can we get the weapon early? We got Senadina weapon early before guaranteed, so let's get this one. Another st two stigmatas. A duplicate. Come on now. Okay. We're below 2800, so we're going to have to retort to single pulls at this point. No stigmata. Nothing there. 24 drops to guarantee. Okay, nothing there. Nope. Well, let me check how much left. Okay. Next would be the... Alright, my next pull. I'm getting close to the next 4-star. Please be weapon. Alright, one more to the guarantee. Dang it. Stigmata. But, any other Tuesday, I would say. Well, one more.
Okay, 80 crystals and 16 drops to, gar to guarantee. Let me just consult the, the super fast way of getting crystals real quick. So after pulling out the magic piece of plastic that grants you crystals, let's see if we can continue our pull session here. So, let's continue 16 drops of guarantee. No stigmata, okay. Yeah, we got a ton of duplicates, my friend. Is it six drops? Just go for the single pulls. And what do you know? We have the Electrified Arc. So that means we have Senadina and Helia full geared. All I really need to do next is just get Helia. Uh, Helia frags to gear up to SS and hopefully triple S. Of course, I'm not going to go bother with Songchu. I've already... It's like I already got enough blow through my crystals and I did the super secret technique of topping it up with the piece of plastic, so... Totally free to play. I'm kidding. But... And since we got the spinning event, I'm going to go ahead and do a spin on the dorm supplies. And I got the free 11 cards, so let's go. Come on, so does RNG you gonna bless me with a S rank for collection purposes? A rank. Oh well. So, what did we learn today? Overall, it was a pretty decent pull session. I mean, I got the Senadina's weapon pretty early, of course. I had the 10 drops still guaranteed. A6. Oh, whatever. But, it's like, I got Senadina pretty easy. It's like, most of the battle suits, well, Coralie and Hylia would probably be the easiest ones. Of course, if you didn't get... It's like, if you're missing one of the stigmatas and you kept getting duplicates, of course, you could always just consult to the stigmata box. But I don't really need a stigmata box since they gave me the stigmatas already. So I guess I'll keep these for collection purposes. A testament that I did the login event. So I'm going to go ahead and get my characters full equipped ready to go come on where you at okay there she is senadina all right let's get all that gear i gotta level her up too but no just like that one more if I can, I'm still having, struggling trying to navigate this UI ever since they changed it. And just like that, she's 80. Level 80. Boom. Bap. Pow. And of course, we get the yo yo. And now off to Helia. Here's some. She's still at A rank, I think, so I have to go all the way back here. There she is. And she's already level 80 since... Well, she's an A-ranker. Oh my god. Look at all those dupes. Oh, man. Oh! I guess I didn't get one of them. Okay, so I guess I will be using the Stigmata box after all. Okay, then. Yeah, okay then, so I get... And there you have it, I got Senadina gear. Well, Senadina, her gear. And Helia. Well, I already had Helia, but I got her stigmatas and her signature weapon. And I also got the spending event outfit. Would you look at that. In retrospect, from what we saw, it's very possible getting the spins. It's like, it's kind of pretty expensive getting the gear. Of course, you can get it early, but sometimes you don't. That's just the nature of these gacha games. It's all solely on RNG. Either you do get it or you don't. 
And if you have to top up, that's fine. Just be sure to top up within your budget and don't go overboard. It's like, so it was a pretty decent run session. Of course, I had to top up once there, but it worked out in the end because I got to complete the spending event and so forth and got both two characters full gear. And I guess you could say I still got in me, but I don't really know. I could, I could have saved them more if we had the weapon. It would have been better if we had the weapon come early and so forth, but it's, it is what it is. So, I guess I still got him with me after all. I mean, it's definitely a lot better than my Link Hang video, that's for sure. But anyways, I got my characters full geared. I'm a happy man right now, so as always, I'll see you in the next video. See ya.